Hey everybody, what a beautiful day it is again today, which I know you can't see it inside this garage, but there it is, hello. Anyway, uh, looks like the turkey biddies have got an eviction notice. Big Mama has put the hoss on me. I had to move them out of the basement due to the smell, pet dander, I guess you'd say. Uh, so we moved the brooder out here into my work area garage and uh, we're gonna clean it out and put the brooders down here and uh, probably finish up the chicken tractor get it in the yard get it ready and uh, also we went to the sale this weekend to the sale barn Lee City sale uh, I'll put in some clips of that it's always a fun time they got good food and, uh, take a pocket full of money Anyway, enjoy. Well, everybody, I'm off work and ready to head toward the house. Got plenty to do there. Always, always got plenty to do. So, uh, we bought a hog at the sale. I say we, my daughter Amity, she, she paid for all that 100% out of her pocket. And put her in with a Vander, which if y'all been watching my videos, you know Vanders are boar, or brood hog. And, uh, boy, they really are territorial. They really are. So they got in the awful spider was, and Noah Vander roughed her up. So, uh, I'm on my way to swing by the vet to get some medicine to try to uh, try to help the hog get back on her feet. We got a vander separated and put up, and uh, where the hog's supposed to be already bred, we're cautious with the antibiotics we give. Uh, I think the vet said we'd be all right to give it penicillin, but not oxytetracycline, which is the LA 200 and he has a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory to give it so I'll do that this evening I may get some video of that I got to be careful sometimes people even though I'm trying to help the hog people don't understand and they find it cruel and unusual so uh, but I will uh, video what I can there and Try to get the voyage was getting the hog better. Uh, also, we had a sheep that my daughter Amity bought. And uh, she had something going on with one eye there. I didn't notice it when she was running through the cell barn, so I don't know. She was in there with goats and other sheep. I don't know if something injured her eye or she had something in it. 
but it was watering real bad so uh, we doctored her for that and uh, hopefully if it's looking better we'll put her in we've had her isolated we'll put her in with the other uh, sheep so yeah got a lot going on there at the farm uh, I could probably put my cabbage plants out this week sometime I need to uh, work on my pasture Lord them cattle they uh, they're the grass is not keeping up it's a little early for them to be on the pasture but it's I'm to the point to where I'm out hay and uh, they something's got to give so I'm going to try to supplement with grain and hold them over and maybe this weather will finally break and uh, stay warm and maybe this grass will take off Hopefully you'll get better, girl. Peace, love, and happiness. There's Mr. Lacey Spears right there. The one, the only, the myth, the man, the myth, the legend. Put him in there, mama. Well. Them white ones grow them faster for some reason. I don't know if it's the breed. Uh, 12, well, either one. Yeah. A wet day. All from being in there? Yes. They'll dry out. Get to see it. So what we got, two, the bourbon reds, two of the slate, that's all we got? I thought we had three slates, one of them die. So two bourbon red, two slates, and it's on. Oh, you're putting on heat? Okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten total. So we we lost ten. Twelve. Twelve. Count the two you bought. Once you stretch here, Mama. There's a handler. I just installed that handle. Da, da, da. Don't forget about that heater. You'll cook them. Okay. Well, you you just uh, you can't get away with nothing this day and time. I'm gonna tell you about what happened to me. I was uh, coming home from work after working second shift. And it was dark, and I was coming through a stretch of uh, stretch of road there. There was no houses. It was just uh, woods on both sides of the road. I guess it went on four or five miles. And I was going down through there. And, you know, this is about midnight. And out in front of me runs this big hog. So I'm standing on the brakes trying to get stopped, and I bump this hog. 
skin him up a little bit and I stop and get out it runs off I don't kill the hog you just just you know uh, roughed him up and I'm looking around I said well there ain't no houses around here I don't know who I need to even tell that I hit this hog so I just go on home you know the hog runs off I go on home well the next morning, about 7 o'clock in the morning, I, the phone rings and I pick it up. And it's this lady and she's mad as a hornet because I hit her hog. And uh, she knew it was me and uh, wanted me to pay for the vet bill and all this such. So I say to her, I say, well now, ma'am, I'll do respect, but how do you know that I was the one to hit the hog. And she said, well, the hog squealed on you.